Hey guys, this is Attila359 again, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reach your files, folders, and programs a lot faster without the use of your desktop. So first up, the link is given in the description. Open the first link, and you'll be redirected to the Filebox Extender page. Now you should pick either the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Now if you have a 32-bit, click on this. If you have a 64-bit version of Windows, click on this. Now this is going to be a setup. Set up everything. And when you've d uh, set up everything, you should see a little system tray icon called Filebox Extender. Now click on Open. And this is your main Filebox Extender window. You can um, create new directories of your mostly used programs. Uh, folders, sorry. So let's just say click on new item and browse for a folder. Now, this is the important part. You can put a browse for your folder for your most used folder. Let's just say, um, 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 games. Yeah, just say on games and just click OK. So, how to open it? Easy. Now, when you open a folder, you should see four new icons near the minimize icon. This is the roll up that keeps your window on top when activated. Now, this is the roll up. Now, this is the your favorites, the favorites, and the recently opened files, folders, and programs window. Now, if you don't like to get the uh, to, if you think that you don't need some, just deactivate them. Let's just say recent. Fo I don't need the ro push up pin, the roll up button, and I don't need the fo recent folders button. And just uncheck every of those and click hide. And as you see, only the favorites button has been left. And I think I'm going to keep these settings. As you remember, I've added games. So just click on games, and this is the games folder. But you will be automatically redirected to the folder you specify. You can also specify files in the same way by just clicking File. Or if you want to add a directory faster by not opening the setup window, just click Add C. Well, uh, it's going to be Add and then your name, the folder name, and there's going to be the, the drive the folder is in. So it's really neat. Uh, I think it's really cool. And the second now open the second link and you'll be redirected to the executor download page. Now what is executor? Executor is like a well, is really similar to Windows Run application, but it works a lot better than it. Now, once you've downloaded, uh, I suggest you download the installer because it installs your uh, installs and it's a lot easier. So, once you've installed it, you'll be prompted to scan, check check any scan, and then click OK. So, once you've uh, ch uh, uh, checked up everything, click on the Windows key and Z, Win key and Z. So you should open. This should open. It's a window that is similar to run. Let's just say I'm going to type any program name. Let's just say Firefox. Now I don't need to click on anything. Just click enter and Firefox is going to open. A new Firefox window. Now you can open any program with this little application. So you can forget all of your Windows icons. Basically you can forget all of them. Except of course the recycle bin. <laughs> so you can use these two little programs, applications, if you might, to make your computer a lot easier to use and a lot faster to use. So well, basically this is it. So oh yeah, I do suggest you check out my YouTube partner, Giardis. If you like my video tutorials, you're certainly going to like his. So. This is it, so rate, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos. This was Tell 339. See you guys.